world making us and making all the things that you made uh, we just uh, give you all the praise and all the glory for that uh, father be with us now and give us the wisdom that we need to make the decisions that will be the best for the uh, taxpayers of scott county in jesus name amen, amen. 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 all right um, we have everyone present and we have a except for jr jr is on his way um if everyone's seen the agenda if i can have a motion to accept the agenda I'm making a request. We're doing the agenda right now. Is that from the past one? Or the the standard told me. I said he was not on the agenda. He wanted to be on, and I said that when they made the motion, he could ask at that point to be on the agenda. Well, a council member would have to make the motion to add it to the agenda. Yeah. I'd make that motion. <laughs> For what? To add Gary to the agenda. I'll second it. All in favor? Okay. All opposed? Yeah. Thank you. So to accept the addition. All right. So now I need a motion to accept the agenda with the addition of Sheriff Gooden. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Two columns. All right, so the first item on our agenda is the Scott County Regional Sewer District Board resignation and appointment. That's me. Do you need me to come nope. up there? No, sir, you can stay uh, right there. Well, thank you. I like this chair. <laughs> Uh, my name is Randy Moth, but I'm the president of Scott County Regional Sewer District. I think as most of you probably already know, Claire Atkins is resigning from the board. She's retiring. Okay. And uh, we'd like to nominate Mike Brown as her successor on the board. Okay. And uh, I think, I'm not sure that you know that yet or have seen anything on that yet. But, uh, this is Mike. Here he's with me now. So if you have any questions or anything, we'd be glad to deal with you. Uh, Claire represents uh, basically all of the county mm -hmm. and that's uh, area five. Has she has she submitted her resignation yet? Yes, she has. Uh, Tom Cyphers, our lawyer, he is here tonight, but he has a copy of that. And Jennifer, I don't know if he. I don't think I have he yet. Has a copy of that. No, but no. Uh, yes, she has. He did call and tell me that. He verbally confirmed it, but he did not send a letter. Okay. So this is your recommendation for mm -hmm. that position? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so anybody have any questions? Um, Mike is a resident of that same area uh, that uh, he would be representing. You said Jen, where Jen, 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 kept putting county. Jen, Jen, Jen. <clears throat> Your brain's still on vacation. Yeah, my brain's still on vacation. Okay. Um, so I will entertain a motion to. I move that they put Mike Brown on as a Jennings Town ramp. Representative for the sewer board. I second that. All right. Do we have any comments or questions, discussions? Nobody's asking about how I am or anything. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, we haven't voted on it yet, so. 
I'm afraid to ask Mike any questions. I'm afraid he'll back out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have a I have a motion by John Collins, a second by Johnny White to uh, appoint Mike Brown of the Regional Sewer District, yes. Jennings Township. All in favor? All opposed? All right. All right, next up, health department, health okay. educator position salary. You don't need us for anything else? No, yeah. sir, you're done. Okay. Was an amendment to the salary yeah. ordinance published? <laughs> So there won't be a vote on well, anything tonight. It would just be a discussion. I have not. The health department may have. Did you happen to publish uh, an amendment to the salary ordinance for the new position? She, Michelle told me all the salary ordinance stuff was done. Okay. It's because I don't, that does not come to my office. She usually did that herself, so I don't I don't know. She one. told me when I came last time, that's why I was confused last time, because she told me everything was completely done except for you guys setting that price. And so I didn't, that's why I got confused, because I came in on the tail end of this yeah. and didn't know what was going on. But. Well, then we can't really vote on, I mean, we have to vote on the amendment to the ordinance, which is not ready if we haven't published it and have it ready. We have to set the amount. So then it can have a Yeah. Right. And it wasn't set last time we were here, right? So, so it's just a discussion on the amount so that we can draft the salary so. ordinance and publish the salary ordinance. Okay. So, so we'll have to go for round three. All right. So we have. It's not in the. So the health the educator salary, right? position salary. salary. Right. So this is a discussion on setting okay. the salary ordinance, correct? No, we don't have no. a. She was here last month, right. and we discussed the position, but yes. There's a lot of questions. No, the, the position was discussed before when yeah. Michelle came, yeah. and the, the salary ordinance was already done, she told me. Well, so Jennifer and Deborah is telling me that it's not done. We haven't published it, so we can't really... We can discuss what we need it to be, so we can publish the ordinance and get the amended ordinance here for the next meeting, but we don't really have... Nothing was done with the... Okay. Salary ordinance to to your guys' that's knowledge, right? right? I think last time they had a range from from one range to the other yeah. range. We asked that benefits included, but that was right. not. Mm -hmm. and the answers we didn't get answered, so right. That's and you got all my email, right? Yeah. With everything in it. I did not. You also have packets you did. with everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Should be in there. Yes. It's been emailed to them, and it should be yes. copies there too. Mm -hmm. And I have extra. This is the school grant, right? So yes. This is the... Do we have a line creation for that grant? To go in? We Do we have a line for that grant to go in? Yes, because yeah. it's an extension. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Yes, it's a, yeah. It's so a where on here is the, is the salary? It's on this paper. It looks like this. Oh, okay. That's yours. I know. I've got like three papers. On there. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So the rest of 23 would be 18, too? Okay. So there's nothing for us to vote on. It's just a discussion on what to, we need to set, the set the salary. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to set the salary for the whole health educator position. Um, you want to? So it'd be 57 for the rest of 2023. It'd be. 57, 877.74 with benefits. Yes, and that's if they take full, you know, full benefit benefits. And so it'd be uh, $20 an hour plus the 3% annual raise. Anybody? Questions? And this is paid for by the grant, the the new health. No, no this is this actually is separate. Yeah, this, this is, is the school, school grant. grant. The school grant. It used school to be grant. called the COAG grant, but okay. now they call it the school liaison grant. Okay. And then that's the thing. Like if it goes beyond 2025, then we can cover it with the Health First Indiana because it's okay. one of those core things that we have to have um, okay. with the 
health person again. So I'll entertain a motion to um, set the health educator salary as presented. Does that grant cover the benefits order? Or is that on us? No, the, the benefits are funded for the grant. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we need to get it set for salary right now so that the report is not published. And right. If you want to set a special meeting, you can if she needs it right away. I move that we set the salary orders at 57, 8, 7, 7, 74 for the 2023 year with benefits. Including benefits? Including benefits, yes. Okay. Any comments or discussions? I have a motion to come call on. I just have a question. If the grant goes away, the decision goes away, correct? Well, she said that if, if the grant goes away, um, it can be picked up by the new Health First Indiana, the new money okay. that, okay. Yeah. that we just it's opted into. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yeah. All right, so I have a, a, a motion by John Collins. Do I have a second? I second the motion. All right, I have an initial by or a motion by John Collins, second by JR. All in favor? Eric, I can't see you. So I know. Thank you very much. All right, so now we'll have to do advertise the salary ordinance, come back to the salary ordinance. Yeah. If, if it's unanimous consent, if, you can pass it in the first whatever okay. meeting, but okay. um, no, I'll have to do two meetings. JR, uh, yeah. the agenda got amended. Okay. Adam Chair, I'm at the bottom. Okay. So, so you're up to this. All right, Nick. EMS. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I thought I made enough, but I didn't want to be like, just kidding. Um, financials are there that I provide every time if you guys have questions of where we're at. It's on the colorful chart, and our cash ledger is on the uh, page as of the 31st. If you have any questions about where we're at on that uh, for the year so far, we're at 1.16 million. Talked to you, Vector, a while about back for um, door access controls at EMS, and they gave us a proposal, and we also got a second quote from Sonic Trail out of Louisville, and after crunching some numbers and comparing the systems, we're thinking it's a better fit for Sonic Trail to do our doors. Okay. I have so a little backstory. When the building was built or remodeled, added on in 2015 16 time frame, they added a wireless network for our doors. Um, half of them had failed. We've borrowed, he's been there playing inspector gadget, borrowing pieces from the internal doors that no longer work or lock. Their internal doors are less important than the ones keeping people in. Now we've got external ones that no longer lock, and the building is has some potential issues so um, I have the ability to offer some help on the Sonatrol one um, quote over a time frame um, but that's where we're at I've got the so the Sonatrol one there's two options oh, for them it, yeah it's yeah it's in the packet second page um, start seeing the dollar, uh, that one's the Sonatrol so there's two options for them. There's one that's upfront and then a subscription base a month, and then there's another option that's upfront and a subscription base 
And then the Becker one is completely, uh, we'd have to add about 3,500 to the Becker one that wasn't added in there, so it comes up to about 25 on that one. Um, we sat in my office one day and crunched the numbers, and on the subscription-based one, it would take 11 and a half years to break even. So, I mean, we're continuing that subscription. So I know that he's not a big fan of subscription-based stuff, but that's that's the avenue of where I can help to where after, you know, two years or something, I can roll that into my budget, offer to, you know, say, hey, we don't have to front the full 25000 We can If you can front me $18,000, i will take over the rest after that or something. Um, but my cash ledger, or my budget is budgeted for about seven grand in building maintenance a year. That's the stuff that air filters and, you know, the, the small stuff that's there, but we don't, I don't get to budget for a hundred thousand dollar expense of garage doors or air conditioners or any of that stuff. It's been tried, it didn't work. <laughs> and so. Song uh, Trail's subscription does cover 100% parts and labor for the whole duration of having that subscription. So five year, it, it is a five year contract to be with them. Then after that, the whole time that you're with them, it's 100% parts and labor cover. And that's, that's where I'm more comfortable because then I don't have to worry about this, you know, something failing and popping up. Um, to replace the system we've got, it's going to be like replacing the door locks. It's going to be about eighteen grand, and we'd have to update the software because the software that the new ones run off of won't work with the old ones. So it's just it's we're in a pickle. Just being honest. So when would the monthly subscription start then? So it would start next month. Um, they can bill yearly and then give like a 5% discount if we pay yearly. And I, I would much rather do yearly just so it's one and done and I don't have to write a claim every month. And I'm sure the auditor's office would appreciate that much more as well to write one claim instead of 12. <laughs> as far as the uh, subscription stuff goes. So originally we had- The vector quote. We had the vector quote. And mm -hmm. originally we had, um, we had looked at using the hospital reserve fund because um, that was one of the funds that Baker Tilly said that we needed to do something with and maybe close that that account, that line out. So right now the hospital reserve is $36,970.66. Um, so originally that's where we had advertised for the vector quote to come out and originally that was going to be one and done one payment done with it so my question is if we have a monthly service then I, i'm 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 for either i was just trying to save some money and i was trying to offer some help right. i can't offer help on the vector one because it's a one and done right. i can take over some subscription stuff on the, the other one after a couple of years i just i'm I'm indifferent. Seems to me this is out of our wheelhouse. There should be a contract or whoever the county administrative board decides to go with comes to us and then we fund it or we decide not to fund it. Not us picking right. a contract or a company to go to. Did you did you did you the, the commissioners I mean, the commissioners, commissioners have and they sign and they sign the contract for that for you guys to for say okay before mm -hmm. we okay so it's out. the one that's on the table then the sign yeah, is on the table yeah I'm just letting you know that there was multi like we have explored all avenues this wasn't a hey I went to here and picked the most expensive place this was yeah. just, I didn't know that yeah. you guys put and, that in, in vector I mean we use it for the courthouse that's a good system I stand by it but. Comparing back and forth, there's a couple extra features that Sonatrol has that I kind of like to, so. Okay. So what we're looking at then is the Sonatrol, the 17,000. Nope. No. So it would, no, be, right. it would be this 12. 12,030. Plus that times 60, or that times whatever you'd like, you know, like I said, because that's, it's on a 60 month. Right. So if we pay the monthly fee for the entire agreement, we get. No, if you pay each year. Each year. Each year. So, so you're saying we we pay the twelve thousand out of the whatever budget we have, and then I would ask would for two care. years because I haven't put it unless we change my proposed budget next year. I'd ask for at least this year for the remainder of the 
years. Well, they have to be paid. Years. It's year to year. It's not. So if he wants it's two not years, calendar start, time. Four, two years. So that's why I'd say I do August two years. September. I would do two. I would ask for two years just for the simple fact that I can calculate that in for next year, this year's and next year's budget to where it can overflow. That's what I would ask for. But I will do whatever is so inclined. So that total would be eighteen nine forty two. Did we make that a concrete or? Would, yes, could that be a, could that be an option? If you guys would want to do that and have a lower, it could be, but annual. It, it costs more in the long run, though. Remember, oh, that's right. Yeah. So if we did the the installation, the the system, and then we paid for two years. Well, here here are the options. Okay. So the twenty. Where's your calculator? Is there not a budget in the commissioners to handle building maintenance for they all the a, buildings? They have a building cube fund. What must fit in that? So, she says they don't have one. So if we do the, the initial installation in one year of the fees so that we're not so we're getting a discount it'd be fourteen three thirty four. Building in the department. If we do two years then it's Generally, no. That should be on the All right. When you're securing a couple million dollars just with the crib in it, you can't just use keys. That's the unfortunate part. Why not? I do. You and I have had that conversation. If you'd like to have it publicly, I'm more than welcome. <clears throat> All right. I know we're just this is EMS also or starting with EMS I'm planning also probably getting quotes down the road to you for the other buildings in the county Sorry. for this kind of stuff too, to make it more secure any of our other buildings use this currently no so if we did would a maintenance agreement go down or would it be separate on every building I couldn't say that. I, just, I hate I to be able to tell you yes or no. But I mean, I hate to do what my like, next after for two years. We enter into two years, and then the sheriff back there decides to go with Tom and Troll in the jail, and then we got another contract. Or could we lump that in? See what I'm saying? To where it would just be one maintenance agreement we have a key for the county. I'd say we could probably work with that vendor to get something together. Um, I'm not, not picking on you. Yeah, I've just seen you. This is man. The you jail. got a lot of doors too. So. Yeah, this. Yeah, that jail would be. A, that'd be a lot of. That'd be a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to see the key bridge. But he, they have it here. Key mill at eleven thirty six. Great. Me, that would be one something. It really shouldn't be mixed with the Looks like they're not getting anything into it. It's stagnant at 22357, so it might not be taxed anymore. So it looks yeah. like from Baker, what Baker yeah. Tilly says. This option one and option two. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking at. It's so $12,000. One is the same. One is the One's that one eight two and then one. That's the main. That's, that's so. <laughs> They're oh, yeah. where they're doing the lower amount, it's because there's a higher yeah, monthly. It's not our fund, it's the commissioner's like, fund. The so that's why the monthly is different. You're getting the same it. coverage, it's just but the lump sum up front. This so the coverage is, is the same, the, the installment is the same. So I don't know it's just saying you can pay 12 grand up front and pay 192 a month, or pay 18 grand up front and pay 109 a month. It's the same coverage. But if you do the 17 one, it ends up to be like 2,000 more on the city long term. It's more it's less a month, but it's more, it's more up front. For the commissioner. Is this going to be in there? Uh, you could use capital development. Well, if you do this, it's covered by the monthly fee. But that's, I mean, a, I that's again. I, I don't stuff. work on locks, I work on people. So, I mean, I, I would like to say no, but I'm not going to sit here and make you promise. I don't. <laughs> I don't work on people. Mm -hmm. 
When you're under this, you're Check covered, and if something the fails, they replace it. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's the whole thing with so this. Is so if it does that's fail, then they replace it. That's a plus. Uh, Vector, Vector did offer $150 a month in maintenance. I can take it under everything. the everything. The commissioners could do it under the human development. Well, well after, 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 after yes, that's yes, right. Yes. That, it brings it to 150 a month. So I mean, there's like 160 in here. You're, you're jumping from 25 thousand dollars up front to 150 a month. And after we kind of sit down there and compare those two together, the first thing that comes in, they kind of add up. That's true. So decades down the road, they're king yeah. development right now. It's covered. I mean, it's covered, which is great, but it is electronic. And if you fail any time, I mean, but you still have that. And they're still getting money. Assurance that if something does mess up, they can swing down to six and what forty thousand in there. Twenty-eight right now. Wait, wait. No, twenty-two. I'm not a big subscription person. I hate making contracts. I just like to buy something and it should run, but. Well, it's, like it's an electronic too, though. You never know. That's, you're going to. That's what we got years ago, and now we're missing. Yeah, that's why I told him I would feel more comfortable with subscription. So having it covered, having it covered, and not have to come back and ask for another twenty grand. Was that something you put in there? No, no. this. So it was just a normal locksmith because this wasn't hard. This is hardwired. This is built by. Or this is backed up by the generator and all of that. The one we have right now is wireless. Who's the key to the building? This should be a better system. That's what I'm saying. Way, be way better. Yeah. No, it's actually cheaper than upgrading what we've got or replacing what we've got. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a good a good upgrade, a good replacement. Let me put it that way. You're gonna have to have an upgrade. No, I don't negate that at all. And I think it's a good system. I just think there's current like <clears throat> the part I don't like is saying Nick's doors are broke Nick you fix it I think it should be a hey, commissioners I'm in your building you fix my doors because that's your requirement is to keep my doors fixed and we just checked and there's actually budgeted money for that in a couple of different funds it's not budgeted money, well there's money, money they it. have that specifically <laughs> states to upkeep county buildings so it's for me I don't I think it's a great idea a great system i understand you got to have it i just think we're going about it the wrong way because they just harped on another department for building a wall inside of a building preaching and beating their chest that it was their building you can't do it now we're doing it well, the problem i've got is if i come to the council and say i need fifty thousand dollars for building maintenance i'm going to get locked out of a budget hearing though too well, and i can't i can't budget for because i've got you know i've got garage doors failing too and I can't come to you. And that's what I'm saying. I think it's, what he's saying is it's not your building, it's the commissioner's building. I understand that, but I have a huge, huge security issue right now. Absolutely. That, yeah. that oh, I agree with you. Kicking this down for months is... is yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think we did our due diligence coming to the commissioners and saying, hey, I've been hey, on this the phone for hours with a lot they, of people about this because this and is... And they said, hey, go, it's council's responsibility next to fund the project. But well, that seems to be the problem is, is fund yeah, buy it, go figure out how to pay for it. <laughs> it's human capital development right now. Well, as of Baker, when we had our meeting with Baker Tilly, it was 82345 That's in the commissioner's maintenance fund. That's in the cumulative cap. Cum cap. Cum cap fund. Cum cap. That's CCD, which is for building. Excuse me? Out of cum cap? Yeah. I wish I could tell you. Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure. Yes. Every year I put in budget requests from QCAP and General. Yes, it's you, been like that every year for a while for some reason. So we use that to pay him. So the money you're looking at is salary. I don't think it can be used. Oh, okay. To pay for the services of full time part time. I'm assuming he's computer maintenance. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that money is spoken for. Yeah, well, they're talking about balances after. Isn't that what Baker Tilly gave us? Was balances after budget deadline? They've got more than enough funds sure. to take care of their own building maintenance. And I'm, I'm with the JR on that one. I'm, I'm not up for spending extra money to uh, do building maintenance that we shouldn't be doing. I just hate it because it sets a precedence for every other department head. Something breaks. 
go get approved and fix it and then come figure out how to pay for it and that's not really how this should work what, what what's, what's the alternative like respectfully yeah. what's the alternative i mean according to the layout of these funds it should be a fund that's taking care of maintenance of county owned buildings then if that fund needs additional appropriations it would be their responsibility but it would still have to be appropriated from you guys though to their fund no it's their no. fund it's right their fund. it's their fund no if we it was an additional appropriation it's it budgeted from from they have to they can use they it they can use it yes. yes can you do you have the we, we can, uh, those are the CCD yeah. fund is a commissioner fund. Yeah, it's not council. It's we, not controlled by the council. Yeah, we can't. We can't tell them to how to uh, use it. And they would have to increase the tax in order to get more money. Just okay. So, so what's on? What is on the? Let's go with what's on the agenda right now. Is so we had advertised twenty one thousand eight hundred fifty one dollars and twenty two cents to be used out of the county hospital reserve fund. Um, originally that was for the vector um, and um, well, that's, we came back they came back with a, a, a better system a better deal better proposal um, with, for a total of twelve thousand right twelve thousand thirty dollars for the installation and if we do one year of the maintenance fee it's a total of fourteen thousand three hundred thirty four dollars or two years of the maintenance fee, $16,638. Do I have a motion to do an just additional appropriation from the hospital reserve fund for contractual services in the amount of $14,334? Is that one year and then we see that's the one year and a line creation. And a line creation, yes. But but that's the one year. Do I have a motion on the table to I mean I'll make the motion. I don't really like the fact we're doing it this way, but I don't want to punish the department head and risk his security anymore. So, so fourteen thousand three hundred and thirty four or do you want to do the two years. I'd rather do the one and see if Andrew ends up writing some other okay. contract with these same people and maybe we can lump it all together. All right, so I have a motion on the floor by JR in the amount of $14,334, um, additional appropriation, and a line create, I'm sorry, $14,334 um, for additional appropriation, line creation uh, coming out of the hospital reserve fund into line 30 and oh no, we have to create a line that's, it. that's the pre, uh 3100 for contractual services do i have a second or do any questions or comments first well i think we're going to bump that a little back we're going to make have money and their budget to do this and we're saddling it on to the department I, I don't think we should be using funds that we can use for other things to do stuff that they have been operating to do. It's not on the it's on the department head. It's coming from a, from a fund that is stagnant that Baker Tilly has, has advised us to use. So we're not putting it on him out of his budget. I just want to make that clear so you we're on the same page as, as far as that is concerned. Now, yes, it was their due diligence to come up with the plan and bring us, and and that is their, that's what they did. All right, so I have an initial. Do I have a second? I'll make a second. All right. All in favor? All opposed? All right, it passed 4-3. PTO and holiday. Um, this is just to, it's not, I'm going to make this clear before we start this. That way there's no misunderstanding. I'm not asking for any more money. I'm not asking for an additional appropriation. I'm not asking for any money from you, the, my fund, or anything else. I'm asking to change the way that it's paid out. That's it. It's equal money either way. It's just allowing me to pay for the physical holidays so I can 
work people. That's all it is. It's been approved by Wagner. Wagner. Thank you, best people. They cleared it all. This is the proposal. This is what the appendix would be. Uh, the rivals have approved it, and I'm here to get it approved by you. The who have approved it? The commissioners. So we're approving the, that doesn't help with the, the amendment <laughs> into the handbook. Do what? Do we? Do you're this you're voting to motion this into the handbook. Into the handbook. Correct. Yeah. As a redistribution of holidays. Of holidays. Because yeah. same money, it's just. Which doesn't change the sound. It's not the amount. It doesn't change the amount. It doesn't change. The only thing it changes is the days in which it's distributed. The dollar for dollar, it's going to be. All right. So to the site. I have. Do I have a motion to approve the holiday pay and PTO uh, EMS policy? It would be amending. This amending. Appendix. Okay. So because that appendix is already in there. As so, far as how it's distributed now, I just want to amend the appendix. So, do I have a motion to amend Scott County EMS Appendix B EMS policy in the employee handbook? Do I have a motion? I make a motion. I'll second. Okay. Any questions or comments? It's in your packet if you'd like to review it. The PTO hours and the holiday hours okay. are there. Okay. I have an initial motion by Diane, seconded by John Collins. All in favor? Opposed? All right. All right. All right. Not passed. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, the other one's on there for your information, but what? the other one at the bottom is for your information, but you guys can go over it at your leisure. Oh, the accreditation? Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. Thanks. I appreciate you guys. All right. Next. Auditor and treasurer with the low software. switching software to allow from MVP. Um, you guys got the proposal. I text you all today. Um, you got There's it. letters also in there from Washington County, um, mm -hmm. the auditor there. One of the things that they talk about is how much more of the taxes you'll recoup because we're making mistakes now. And I can say that when we were doing a settlement, not only were there mistakes made, there were parts of the sheets that didn't download properly this time. When we were um, certifying taxes in March, we had three people that we could call and get help from. One of those people left, and uh, I overheard at a conference that they had downsized her. So that only left two um, consultants that we can call. And settlement was over a month late. So because people were good to us, the schools and everything, we got the money to them as soon as we could. But it was very difficult. Uh, we had to pull in some software that I didn't even know we had, which is GFC through Ruben uh, Cummings, mm -hmm. that in this proposal, you'll see data pit stop is in there. Um, so it looks to me that we'll save 5500 in annual maintenance fees if we can drop the GFC. So part of the 55000 that when you were worried about how much more that was than um, the current MVP, about 5500 of that is already going to be covered in the data pit stop that's included in this. So that was something I just found today. Okay. Wow, it's very good. When I was in Jackson County, they came down and sat with a the girl. Their settlement done, was done like in six hours. Yeah, not days or weeks. Um, they also have like an online tax system. I know I have a lot of people wanting online taxes so they can see their bill online. And, or Lau has that already. 
So that's just a benefit. So when you talk about um, being able to recoup some monies for the county, they, they think they, you guys feel confident that this will benefit the county as a whole by being able to recoup some of those taxes mm -hmm. that we're missing out on collecting. According to the other counties that have it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, and I've talked to technical wise to other counties and they say this is, go, this is a go-to. And plus the, I'm not dogging MVP whatsoever. The last got, was it 78 now? County? That's close to They just added four more so, okay. on the tax so, side. So yeah, I don't know. Um, or they're in the process. It's kind of one of those yeah. things too that sooner or later we're going to get in a pickle if MVP was to close their doors for the state of Indiana and we're sitting there like, mm -hmm. and now what do we do? So as much as it's, as much as it's not a shiny new upgrade, it's kind of one of those things that's like to cover our butts. What's, also. what's the transition time as far as moving? So I understand, and this is one thing, this is gonna be important if this gets done quickly. They're gonna come in beside us and they're gonna mirror us on what we're doing so they can pick up because they're going back to three years or more of our tax data that we already have. They're gonna mirror that and then they're gonna set up a system that's just kind of fake using our numbers that our people can sit down and train and play in and it will not have any effect on what's going on. And then come January 1st, we'll be ready to go. So we'll, so with the system, we'll go live January 1st? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a big benefit for the county is being able to get online to view your taxes, pay them, and also just a big benefit for the employees in here that's using it yeah. every mm -hmm. single day. Not just for the not... taxpayers, but the you know title agencies and attorneys' offices too. Yeah, and this will put the, the county in the same system. Correct. Yes, it will. Yeah. And another thing that I'm thinking of when they did, I didn't understand this, but like on your taxes, say you've got a person that's belligerent or you've had an issue with them or maybe there's been a phone call you didn't feel comfortable with, there's a very discreet way you can mm -hmm. tag that so that you know if that person's coming into the office that they might be somebody you want to be extra careful with. Yeah. And I know we're getting emails, and I think the sheriff has been brought on board that uh, with some of our tax sales. There's some other stuff going on with that. So the more the more warnings we can have and know, the better off we'll yeah. be. People get mad paying taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Strange. So is, the, so is this going to allow? Is this going to incorporate the sheriff and the tax the the sheriff sales then? No. Or is tax sales no. no. Okay. Yeah, tax sale and sheriff sale are totally different. Mm -hmm. So well, I knew that. I just yeah. didn't know if this was going to allow that part to be integrated with everything. No. Okay. And we will still continue to use, like we're using SRI to do our tax sales, we'll continue to use them, yeah. but they work very well with Lyle too. Yeah. And so. All right, so on the, on the table is an additional appropriation and line creation for the Lyle tax program um, out of ARPA. Uh, currently, the fund balance is two million three hundred seventy-five thousand one hundred ninety-six dollars and sixty-two cents. The amount requested is two hundred eighty-eight thousand four hundred ninety-two. I do have a question. So, there's the the monthly or is there a monthly yearly fee? What's and the annual maintenance? It's coming from you. You're, but it's due a month after the system is implemented. So, well, so fine. in January. Well, I don't I know. I think it would be January this year because we really won't be using the system until, until then. January first. There's probably a year, so for the yearly support. It'll probably come in early. You think so? Okay. It, it's covered for that year. Okay, but it's you, you're in his budget. Good. Okay, it's in my hands. All right. So, um, all right. So, do I have a motion on the table for the additional appropriation line creation, or? Contractual services low tax program and a line creation 3100. 30,100. That's what I said. 30,100. <laughs> Sorry. So, do I have a. For me, I would, I would kind of like to table it for a short period of time. So, I got good relationship with Washington County. I wouldn't mind reaching out to them, see how it's working for them. And I got that. It's a lot of. 
and then see if we can find out for sure when that's going to come out just so it don't hit you at the wrong time and then we revisit this on the we don't know for sure when the service agreement's coming out i mean i'd like to know for sure when that's going to be due or paid and we're not paying it beforehand we can find that out um, i mean we would have to make sure that everything's good starting right. january 1st because if, if we don't cancel current support with mvp then they will hit us mm -hmm. next year then i'm not going to have the funds for right. it and that's what I'm, i want to make sure when all those are going to come out just so something happens you're not dinged twice well i think my concern is is if we do delay this another month and they delay us when we start getting this that's program sorry right. Will we still be on track to go live on January 1? I don't know I don't because know. they only not. take so many a year. Yeah. And I know a month ago they were pushing me then saying mm -hmm. because yeah. they hire people out of the courthouse to do this. So, so do we know we still can get January for sure, 100%? We talked uh, to him today, today. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So. So back to my initial question. Do I have a motion on the table um, for the additional appropriation and the line creation? Sorry. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments? I'm afraid I have to ask because I'm a JR. I don't like having two hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars thrown down me and have you know what, two days to make up my mind mm -hmm. uh, when we haven't had a chance to even look into none of this stuff. When, that's, when, that's did, where I when did we start getting emails on this though? Months ago. Yeah, we've, <laughs> been, ago. we've been getting emails on this for, for at least a month. I've not got an email on it. The first email I've seen on this was about three days ago. Well, and this is the first time I've seen like to extend the invitation to visit Washington County and actually see it. I mean, I think that would be. Well, we've talked really about that time. because they were here mm -hmm. in, um, in May. <laughs> And we talked about it then that they had invited us there. Which is where I stand on it. Well, I'll make a second to get it on the table. All right, so I have an initial by Collins, seconded by me. Um, all in favor? All opposed? One, two, three, four. All right, so next on the agenda is the highway department, Kevin. Oh, so our county commissioners run the chip so equipment back through. I'm really just here to answer any technical questions that you have. So. Has, it, has anything changed on the... Oh, I'm sure prices went up as far as that goes. We got to start somewhere. So. Do we know what the new prices are? Nope. All right. So, does anyone have any questions? All right. So, I have on the table additional appropriations of art funds for seven hundred seventy-five thousand for chip and seal equipment line. Going into line item 42,000. Anything? Anybody? Do I have an initial? Do I have a motion? We don't even know how much we're spending at this right. point. Yeah. The, uh, the chips equipment was good for 30 days. You just said you don't know? So, I know it was good for 30 days and the equipment prices will go up. The equipment goes up every day. So uh, you all will have to make an agreement that we're going to bid it out and either a do it or don't and put a window of x amount of dollars that's how we'll have to do it or we could do this for years 
So I meant to edit it. Man, I guess at a minimum, I say let's get some prices and look at it again or something. But you're gonna have to tape. My vote would be to table it at this time. I don't know that this amount requested is gonna meet what you want. I think you need to entertain that amount. We'll bring it back and see where we get with that. The prices may be able to negotiate the same. I don't know. But they were good for 30 days, so I can't rebid out and re-advertise every 30 days and bring stuff back. I just can't do that. So it's either agree on a certain price, and then if we can get that price set, there it is, and if not, but, I mean, let's just face it, unless there's an agreement that you're going to go and do the tip so there's no sense of me advertising, spending money to advertising every 30 days to bring it back and deny it. So you either say this is the amount of money we're going to invest into it for a 30-year preservation plan, or we're not going to invest into it. Really, that, that's where I need to know. Uh, Kevin, was this price good the day we advertised it? On July twenty first, and re-advertise it. Mm -hmm. well, yes, it yeah. will. Because it was different than the first one. The first one was okay. seven twenty eight. So this price is good. Well, that price still might be good, yeah. but my original price wasn't. Right. So the seven seventy five is is a good is a good number. It was advertised on the twenty first. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. I mean, my motion would be to table it. Let's think about this. Look at the price, something like that. But I'm not going to spend over three quarters of a million dollars on it. Maybe that's what the price will be, or maybe it won't be. We don't know. Right. So I have a motion on the table to tape. Well, on the table to table. <laughs> JR, any questions or? What, what was the motion? The motion on the table. The motion on the table is to table it. Okay. Yes. I have Jared Collins. Do I have any questions or concerns? Comments? All right. All in favor to the table. All opposed. All right. What is uh, what are we tabling? Just the the request for the seven seventy five. So we rebid the price out and bring it back because we just keep doing that over and over or let's just say where we're at so I can move on and get something done. Well, I think, I think part of the problem, part of our, our, what we're waiting on is we've got some things moving with the mandate. And so we're trying to make sure that we got that solidified and then we can move forward with everything else. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay. All right. Cell phone siphon, siphon resolutions. Cell phone policy resolutions. We got several from the commissioners that they approved. We just need to appropriate the funds out for them. So I don't have a copy of them. I don't to give to give the council. So back in November, October, November, whenever we did budget for 2023, um, we were told that we needed a cell phone policy. So we zeroed out the cell phone stipends, put it back in the general fund. Um, we did not eliminate the cell phone line items from the departments. Um, commissioners knew that we needed a cell phone policy um, when we did it back in October. They finally got around to it in June. June, I think, is when they got around to doing the cell phone policy. Um, since then, the department heads have come forward, presented to the commissioners who um, they requested to have cell phone policy, cell phone stipends. The commissioners either approved, sent them back to resubmit. Anyways, this is where we're at now, is we have um, the money that we had put from the cell phone policies is we need to reappropriate um, to pay for the cell phone stipends. We need to vote for it going forward for 2024. Those cell phone stipends will be in their budget. It will not come out of the county general. 
Okay. My my take on that is it's not the department's fault that it took six, seven months for the commissioners to come up with a cell phone stipend. Um, I don't think that the departments should be penalized for that. But going forward, it will be in their budget. The only one that was and I just want to make sure I, yeah. have, I understand that this is positions, not people. Correct. Will, those cell phones will go to, correct, say, Nick and his. Right. It will be the director, or it will be the director and the deputy director. Right. It will not be Nick and Devon. Right. So correct. Nick. If I leave, somebody else gets it who takes my spot. Correct. Right. That, that's what I want to make sure I understood. Yes. The only ones that are not prorated okay. are the judges. The judges will go back to January 1 because of state statute. Um, all of the other departments um, will go into effect as of the date that the policy was put in place, which is June, or June 1st, I believe. So. And we're all supposed to be retroactive. We're all retroactive. And we've just basically Let me see. Can I see those resolutions to do Again. the um, what is it the, what's it, the or, not ordinance or they did the or, the ordinance or the or we've been waiting for the ordinance from the commission ordinance and the resolutions and okay. that's what we I have. just wanted to verify that that's what I thought I just wanted to verify they did make the clerk's office retro for whatever reason. That one is the judge. And that one's retro. Prosecuting attorney is not retro. And they did make it. The treasurer was retro. So this, yeah, these are not retro. I uh, think the clerks is part of the court. Yes. Courts. This is Cut County Highway Department was not retro. EMS was not met retro. Building superintendent not retro. EMA department not retro. And community corrections is not retro. So those three are retro. So the three that are that are retro back to January one will be the Scott County Clerk's Office because they are they are part of the court systems, um, and the two judges. And you have the treasurer too. Clerk. Oh, treasurer, clerk. Yes, and and the judge. So those are the three that are that are through January one. Everyone starts June Do we need to do each one individually? No, I mean we're not going to do our own resolutions on them. They have to they have to approve the plan by the we just appropriate it. So okay. you can do the totals and just do. I mean you can do it however you want. Right. But since not everybody since we didn't weren't given copies of the resolution, you might to be clear. Okay. Want to do it one by one so everybody knows what they're voting on. They don't have the resolutions in front of them. Yeah. Wendy, the one for, I guess, Scott County 911 is listed as the EMA department. So mm -hmm. if we add the deputy director of the EMA, that's not the same as the 911 center, and they don't have two supervisors for EMA. So do they need to change this? or? Because that should be, it's two different departments. Two different I mean, departments. I know Jeff's the director of both but does he have the two different no they listed all of the ema and if we're talking adding cell phone yeah. stipends to positions not people i would to see why just have them have a 911 change that to a 911 center and on the, and do you want to talk to mike about it before we appropriate yeah okay we'll put that one to the side Jim, sorry okay I'm so i'm just i'm going to do um so what are we doing? I would do them individually since that we don't have a resolution and we don't all have copies of these for. But do we have to advertise the amounts then? No, we're just going to appropriate it. Okay. I mean, it's already appropriated out of general, right? It's hot. In here. Is it already appropriated? It's an unexpended. Right? It's, uh, it's, we just put it in the unexpended. unexpended. Mm -hmm. So you have to appropriate. Have to appropriate then it. yes, you will. Yeah. Because okay. it'll be an additional appropriation for okay. each one. But you know where you're taking it from, right? Yeah. There's a state statute that says we have to buy somebody a cell phone. Judges, right? Judges. Judges. We cannot change their their salary. Why weren't these advertised before? A state statute. We cannot reduce their compensation. And by taking their their cell phone stipends away, we are reducing their compensation. You have to have an additional appropriation to it. Yeah. Is that limited I mean, just to uh, the judges? Yeah. That's, that's just for the judges, yes. Yeah, that's my other 
Mm. All right, so I have, we'll go. Well, we might as well wait to advertise now because they're going to be additional appropriation. If you haven't over appropriated for cell phone stipends out the general, you're going to have to do an additional appropriation to advertise it like you would any other additional appropriation. Okay. You need to return back to that day or whatever that right. that's on. But well, I think it's retro back to when the, when the um, resolution or when the policy was going to put, put in place. Yes, yeah, so some of these would be August 2nd, some of them go back to July. Those are going to be yeah. January. These are going to be January. And that maybe will get time, Jennifer, also time to get me copies of all these, and I can do a signature page for us well, so that we can well, be so I have, tidy. I have an email. The email I, I have had a, been using work, but this I have, quit just recently. My suggestion would be to table the cell phone policy resolutions so that we can advertise the additional corporations from general. Um, <clears throat> Do I have a motion for that? I'm going to Any questions? All in favor? Did I have everybody? I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, Sheriff. I think I did. I thank you for that, sir. Oh, thank you. If there's not, I'll, I'll give it up. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I want to say thanks for amending, you know, saying the uh, agenda so I can speak to you tonight. Uh, <clears throat> what I've come to you for, I'm just going to be honest with you, is this. Uh, if you'll, the forms that I gave you, the pamphlets, I'm going to go through those with you so you'll know what they are exactly. So I'll, I'll explain them, describe them as, in, as we go through. Uh, Basically, so I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, I humbly come here tonight asking for your help. Uh, the personnel level at the sheriff's office is quickly dissipating. Uh, and I need help. I need help to stop the bleed. Uh, as you know, if I'm asking for something that's an emergency because I can't tell you maybe one or two times in the last five years that I've had to come back and ask for appropriations additions. As a matter of fact, over the last five years, I've turned back over half a million dollars of unexpended money that I've given back to taxpayers. Okay. So I appreciate your time that you'll be here tonight. And this decision that you make uh, is a very serious decision. It's not only a decision that's going to affect you, it's going to affect your kids, your families, every single citizen in the county. This is one of those decisions where you run for a board. That the decision you say, well, it doesn't really affect this. This decision here is one of those decisions that's going to affect everything that happens in this county. Okay? So, I'm going to start off on bottom line up front. This is what I'm asking for. Now, I'm going to open that for questions to at the end. So, if you don't care, unless it's an urgent question, you won't hold off because it'll be answered probably. You don't send in the form that we put together here. Okay. Bottom line up front uh, I'm requesting an immediate increase of $5 per hour on the pay scale for all employees of the sheriff's office, deputy sheriffs, and deputy jailers. Additionally, the two supervisory positions, chief deputy and jail commander, that are paid 60% of the annual pay of the sheriff must be increased to 70 cents to 70 percent to equalize the additional pay salt for those that they supervise and lead otherwise the, the workers will be making more than the supervisors basically just saying uh, furthermore if a deputy has a certified law enforcement certificate where they've been through the academy uh, i'm asking that their pay be increased to the year of service they have as a law enforcement officer not just the series of service to Scott County. And what I say is, is we've had, we got some very qualified officers that's got 10 years on, 15 years on prior departments and they come here and they have to start out at zero. It also hurts us in our recruiting efforts if we can say that we can bring somebody over and we can put you on our scale for your years of service. Uh, it makes a big difference in, in how we can do it. Now, the total cost of the request that I have, and this is, 
if every position we had is funded, I'm short, and I'll go into that here in a little bit. I'm short positions now. And that's if these positions get filled and they're completely funded until the end of the year in both the jail and the road. It's $141,978.63. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to ask you for a penny. I don't need a penny. The only thing I need to do is, is get your permission to be able to transfer the money to make this happen. And I'll, I'll explain what I go through here. Okay? Uh, this is not even, and I talked to Mr. Gillespie about, you know, at what point in time do we have to say, you know, hey, we got to do more for less or less people, you know what I'm saying, we're going to get more money. I'm sorry, I've got backwards. We're already doing that. We have two positions that are completely funded that Scott County says they don't pay anything for. That's a drug detective by Morgan Foods and also a uh, sex crime detective by uh, the state of Indiana. Basically, it's federal government who's paying for it. Those two positions, obviously, would be for a couple of the first two that we would have to cut, you know what I'm saying, if the funding, or if, if we can't fill the positions because of the, the pay. Okay. Uh, another position, the third position, I got a guy had a wreck, obviously, and I don't want to ever be back. It's on long term disability. Of course, we can't fill that position until they say, hey, listen, he's not going to be able to come back, so we got that open position. I've got three positions open there now. I've got two additional deputies that have been offered jobs from other departments that can leave at any day. Uh, and that'll put me at five down. Five down. We all know the environment for police out here right now. It's not a very popular thing to be a police officer, but we have to have it. And I've got to, uh, I've got to stop the fleet. I really do. So let's go into the, to the, uh, let's go into the uh, form we got here. First of all, slide one. I'll call them slides, okay? For lack of a better term. You're dating here. yourself? That's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So slide one. Uh, Round thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So actually, it's going to be slide two. Slide one was just the uh, introduction. Slide deck intro. So you can see that's just here. Slide number two. We have done extensive research on what this pay is. I'm talking. There ain't nothing that we can't answer. Okay. When it comes down to this pay, for one, we took the average of 18 other counties. It's a similar in size population to Scott <coughs> County. We took the average pay that they made. Now this, remind this too, is, is this is just the starting salary. And as we go on, this gap gets worse, worse, and worse. Okay, so this is just the starting salary. So the 18 other agencies, the average pay of those starting, starting pay is $51,025.61. Our Scott County deputies, 46,072. They're in 5,000 basically different things you know, starting out above us. That's the counties that's our size. And okay? we would have similar tax base and things too. Okay? Uh, not only are, am I showing this this here, but all of these agencies are getting humongous and significant pay increases next year that I don't have listed on here. The only one I do is Jackson County have listed. The other ones that they're not even listed on here. Some of those is, is this. Uh, Gibson County, they're getting a $12,000 across the board increase, and that starts them out at $59,819. And what's significant about that is they have a full family meditation <coughs> for $40 a year for every officer that they have. Okay? Uh, Posey County's getting $9,000, Randolph $10,000, uh, Fayette County $3,000, and you see that we're dead last, mm -hmm. and we're dead last in those comparable counties, you know what I'm saying, to be compared with. Uh, with the above raised I asked for five dollars, that puts Scott County obviously at the lowest, we're at the bottom of the trend there. We're, we're last with those counties, okay? Uh, it's six thousand actually, six thousand eight hundred ninety six dollars and fifty five cents is what they're making more than Scott County. The average county is our size, okay? So let's uh, flip over to slide three. Uh, what I did is, is we put a, a uh, comparison together of the surrounding counties that touch us, just the counties that's near us and touch us that we deal with on a regular basis. Uh, as you can see, we are dead last at 46,072. The next one is Jackson County, at, or I'm sorry, at uh, 
53 and then Washington County 48. Uh, if we get the $5 raise, you flip over to the next, as you can see, we're at the bottom again. We're last. Okay? As you can see at the next page there at the bottom, uh, or at the thing here, if we get the $5 increase, that'll put us at 56472 And what that'll do is it'll put us right in the middle. We're not asking for anything scrap, we're not asking for anything more. We're just asking for the average, is all we're asking for. And that puts us right in the middle of everybody that has sort of surrounding counties. Okay? Let's go to the next page. And what we did is we compared the surrounding cities, the cities that were close to us. As you can see, Scott County is dead last again. Okay, uh, the closest one is Salem. We just spoke to them today. Uh, they're getting a significant uh, increase, they said, plus they just retroactively passed or immediately passed retirees health insurance. Uh, they're going to pay 75% of retirees health insurance, which is of course, you know what I'm saying, above that. As you can see, this is before they get the raises next year too. So not only are we behind now, but when they get these, it's even gonna be worse. A lot worse, okay? Uh, as you can see the top there, uh, of the surrounding counties, New Orleans, or I'm sorry, the cities, New Orleans top 61. And again, they go on down the line there, you can see that. <coughs> okay. Next slide. Uh, if we get the five dollar pay increase, what that will do is, is again, that'll put us right in the middle of the city state. So not only are we going to be in the middle of the road for the counties and making money, we're going to be in the middle of the road for the city's pay also. So it's, again, we're not asking for anything extravagant. We're just asking the average on that, and that explains that in that slide there. Okay, self-explanatory. All right, the next page is the jail deputies. And here's, I'm asking the same for them also. We work as a team. For me to come and ask for a $5 increase for the road officers and not ask for a $5 increase for our jail deputies because they are underfunded also would be a severe slap in the face to those jail officers. Now, obviously, they don't make the money that we make on the road because it's different positions, however, but their money's, you know what I'm saying? Again, the starting for the 18 average counties that we had. The starting is uh, 38808 for them, and we're about seven to eight hundred dollars lower, 38168. Again, this is the starting pay. As time goes on, for example, uh, we have an officer now that's looking at a job, and she's got an opportunity to make $112,000 a year. Okay, we pay her $56,000. She's going to double her salary. And we know we can't compete with the top salaries. We know that. There ain't nobody silly enough to think we're going to be able to pay, you know what I'm saying, that kind of money. But we can at least be average. We can at least be average and, you know what I'm saying, hopefully have a fair compensation for our people. That's, that's all we're asking. Uh, if you'll see on the page, the slide here, it looks like it's got all kinds of different things. The top slide is what we're making now. That's the 2023 uh, pay scale. And then the bottom one there, is for 2024 the $5 it's added. And that's across our scale. We got the 20 year matrix scale. So that's, it's all figured out. Everything's there for both the corrections and the road deputies. Okay, corrections and the road deputies, both. Uh, and it's just something I printed. This is something state police is sending out. Starting out troopers, $70,000. Starting out. <coughs> so, and then you've got uh, 15 years, we're up to 112,000. Again, we can't compete with that. We know we can't compete with that. I understand that. But it shows you where this whole thing is playing out. Something else that we have to keep in mind. Police officers, every agency in the state of Indiana that I know of is begging for police officers. Okay? They are raising their pay to be able to track the officers that they need. What they do is they look at us and we're the lowest paid. <laughs> so they call our people, they're actively recruiting the people on our agency saying, hey, if you'll come to us, we'll pay you $75,000 starting off, plus we'll give you $5,000 bonus, blah, 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 to recruit them to us. How can they turn it down, you see what I'm saying, if they're making 46,000? So we're losing these folks because of that reason. Just gonna be honest with you, big time money if we're losing them. But if we can get it comparable to everybody else, we can be. Plus, we can recruit some people, you know what I'm saying, with a comparable salary to everyone else around us. Okay? Now, 
Just some other factors here. I've talked about the state police. Uh, personal story. This, I'm not going to say this, this bothers me. Okay, this bothers me. Because here's what you got to understand is, is this, okay? I'm getting nothing out of this. The state sets my pay. I'm not, when I'm saying this, I'm not getting one red cent out of this that goes into my pocket, okay? This is all for the people, your people, my people, the commissioner's people, people of Scott County's employees, okay? We had a Scott County Sheriff's deputy, and I don't want to mention his name because of embarrassment to him. He has school-aged children that receive free books and free lunch and free tuition because of the little amount of money he makes at Scott County Sheriff's Office. All schools okay. do that. What's that? All the schools do that. Free, he qualifies for it. Not that they're giving it to him. He qualifies. His like kids qualify. Them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I don't, but I, and here's I how I tell you this, and I don't know that. I don't have, I got a kid that's a junior in high school, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? So, <laughs> my was graduating. So that, you're right. You know I was saying? shocked whenever we yeah. signed ours up this year and there was no, there's no, no fees, no, no nothing. No, no, yeah. no support. Is this, and this, this person don't, their kid does not go to school in Scott County, it's an out of town kid. Mm, so I don't, okay. you know what I'm saying? But I will tell you this, this deputy has working all the old time he can, Plus, he's in the military. The only reason why he does not receive food stamps, SNAP benefits, because he's military pay. That's it, period. That's the reason why he doesn't get it. That bothers me, okay? And I, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I think it bothers you guys too. I don't have to ask, I think it does. That's not right. Um, so, Clark County, Floyd County, Jefferson County, Washington County, whoever calls this old boy up says, hey man, I'm gonna give you $75,000 just to start out, $58,000 to start out. You probably qualify for free free lunches and free books, but at least you'll have some money to buy some stuff. That's where we're losing. They bleed, you know what I'm saying? They just bleed. It's just common sense. Now, another issue that is causing us is this. Our overtime and comp time has exploded. Because, unfortunately, I cannot have someone not working. I just, it's, when somebody calls in to the sheriff's office and says, I can't be, you know what I'm saying, at work tonight, I don't have the luxury of saying, okay, don't worry about it. I have to fill that position. I have to put somebody out there on the road because when people call, they answer the phone. We can't say, uh, we ain't got nobody available. Okay, I'm getting raped out here. I'm getting robbed or whatever it is. And you don't have nobody available. I can't do that. We can't. Nobody can do that. So I have to fill those shit. <coughs> and it's getting paid by overtime. Overtime, and it's time and a half to do that. Also, I had a rule that we started out that we limited comp hours to 40 hours per person. Because you know how the comp buyers build up. Next thing you know, you got 6,000 of them and they retire, where they quit, you gotta pay them all the money stuff. I had to suspend the 40 hour comp time rule. The reason why I had to suspend it was, I, if I them working over 40 hours comp time, I can't, I can't cover the road. So, uh, another thing too is this, I'm just gonna be honest with you, uh, I get concerned about the mental and physical health of our deputies when they're working seven days a week. 12, 15, 17 hours a day, dealing with the things that they deal with on a regular basis every day. Uh, that That is a, obviously I try to offer psychological help, try to offer some physical help that they need. Uh, but I'm just gonna be honest with you, most men are pretty hard headed. If they was, yeah, I get that, completely myself. And for them to say that they need mental help, it ain't gonna happen. I just like most of the guys sitting here, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I have done is this. I have put together me, uh, Amy, Ray Dawson, and, uh, oh, mine's going blank on here. Uh, <laughs> Teresa, Teresa Van Arsdale. We sat down and I went through my budget that I had this year. Okay, we went through it. As I told you earlier, uh, it's going to take 141000 and a little bit of change to cover this whole for everybody for this year. Okay, so what I did was is I went through and I made a very conservative estimate. And my numbers are based on this, okay? When I based my numbers, I took the top years of service, 20 years of service, and the top pay and averaged them all together. Even though we don't have, you know, everybody at the top of the scale, 
So that way I know we would have if, if extra funding, if whatever happens, something come available, we would need extra money that would be there. Okay, just to be conservative on it. So what I did was is I divided that in half because we got 16 jail deputies and 16 no deputies, it comes to 148,000. So half of that's 70,989.32. Okay. So on my road deputies, I have a line item, or let me say this, I've been short for most of the year. So I have extra funds in my line item, my deputies line item, uh, of ex extra funds of $33,565.58. We've been down two and three people for most of the year. I have that. You subtract that from $70,989.32, that still makes me have to come up with $37,423.74. I have a detective slot that has been empty all year long that I got $57,000 in. I'm going to take that money from $57,000, which is 37 of it. I'm going to take that and I can pay. It will cost you guys a penny. It will cost the taxpayers a penny this year. So I'm saying I'll have my road deputies increases and that what I'm asking for increases paid for by just doing that. Plus, it will leave me with about $20,000, give or take a few, in that detective line for shortages or whatever down the road. I'll still have the detective line on that I can switch monies over to, to end up doing some other pay. Okay? So I've got more than enough money to pay for this to my road deputies. Okay? Uh, now, jump over to the jail, on our jail deputy side. Again, 70,989.32 is needed. We got that established because it's cut in half. So, in my shortage of jail officers that we had for the year, we have available extra $47,068.99. Okay? So you take that 79.89.32, subtract 47.068.99 from it, it still comes up with me needing $23,920.33 to pay for the jail side. So what I have done is I went into my discretionary funds that I have, my discretionary, where we have the lease of auctions and stuff, and I have pooled all those funds together, and I have come up with about, well, it ended up that we had $174 left. You see what I'm saying in these funds that I could use, because some of them you can't use. You know, after I put them all through, there's lease sold, there's uh, out-of-county prisoner funds, there's fingerprint funds, there's different things that we can use. Now, there's also certain discretionary funds I have, like farms funds that I can't use. You know what I'm saying? That's it's earmarked for certain things. But the ones I'm using is earmarked you can use for pay also. Okay, with that, I don't need nothing. I don't need. I don't need to come and ask you for additional appropriation. I'm not asking you for a penny. I don't want a penny to finish this year out. The only thing I'm asking is, is this: I have a letter here that says, uh, reference to salary increase, transfer request. Please be advised, Sheriff Gooden is requesting a pay increase effective immediately. That will include an increase for both Scott County jailers and Scott County deputies. In the amount of five dollars per hour after analyzation of county budgets we have determined that we do have the funds in our line items that can be transferred to accommodate the increase in pay for employees we'll also be using discretionary funds to balance some of the funding needed and that's only on the jail side please consider the following transfer uh, which is lit public safety on the investigators fifty-seven thousand, uh to switch it over thirty-seven thousand four thirty-four seven four into the regular deputies line That'll pay for the road deputies yeah, completely. Again, with twenty thousand dollars, you know, left over. I'm not asking for a penny that I don't have. I've got skin in this game. I've got as much. I've got more skin in the game than anybody because I'm not asking for anything. And I'm gonna tell you this. I, if this is an emergency, and I have to have this now. And I was like, oh, why didn't you come at budget time? I did come at budget time last time, and we did ask for more money. And. A lot of guys wasn't here, you know what I'm saying, last time. Lindy was here, obviously, and uh, Diane was here, and Eric was here. They had a special vote, because I asked for special money and the, to help cover our, you know what I'm saying, our pay and stuff to keep going, and I was denied that money. And I got the 3% increase, like everybody else. I'm not complaining about that, but unfortunately, our insurance went up 8%. So my people are taking 3% less home now a year than what they did last year. Compounded on the fact that you know, these other agencies are actively sniping, that's what we call them, they're actively sniping police officers. They're calling, recruiting them, something that would never have happened. 
I would say even less than five years ago. Uh, we've had jobs open uh, and we've not had uh, enough qualified personnel to put in, you know what I'm saying, to fill the jobs. Uh, so I'm sorry. Oh, no. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. How many part time deputies did you got? We got two right now that work the road. Okay. Yeah. And if it wasn't for those guys right now, we'd be in bad, bad trouble. Because they're killing shit. Your guys will make 60% of what you make. Mm -hmm. If you want the raise to say it, does mm -hmm. that cover them? Yes, it does. This covers everything. This covers all the money. Plus, what I did was. We went, I think they said that uh, they figured out there was 114 days left in pay, and Jennifer probably knows this. 114 days left in, for pay for the year. That's something around it. We figured up six days ahead. We figured up a week, you see what I'm saying, ahead. So we figured it on 120 days. So that we tried to stay ahead, you know what I'm saying, more money than what we thought we would actually need. Why this is an emergency is this. I've got four or five young deputies two and three years on. Right now, they're getting sniped like crazy because they can go somewhere and, and I just lost one of my new deputies about it's been about eight months ago when he got a $20,000 pay raise because he left us and went with New Albany City. $20,000 a day. So. <clears throat> they're offering these monies, you see what I'm saying, to all my young guys because they're at that point now where they're going to say, hey, I need to leave or I'm going to stay, whatever it is. These positions that you're Working to take that money out of it right now. Uh, are those positions that you're going to be looking to fill next? Yes, year? and it is that, yes. No, well, that's already filled. Those are positions that was already there. So the money will be there when we go through the budget cycle. That's what we have to do with the next budget cycle, was we would do, you know, right. same figure that out. Are you going to be looking to fill that? Yes. Well, we have to. Because I can tell you right now, as this is, I'm just going to be honest with you. If we don't get this, we're going to be making some tough decisions, and I'm going to be coming to y'all to make decisions because there's a reason why. I've got the money there, you know what I'm saying? Because I've got to get rid of two police officers, grants, that I'll have to get rid of because I can't fill them. We can't leave them in. They ain't going to give us money if we don't have nobody working on them. They can catch Can I ask you on those yes, two? Mm -hmm. um, will their pay go up? Will Morgan's pay? It falls, yes. They so, all follow us, the grants do. So, so whatever we, we get, they if you up them, then there's guns along with yeah, it. Yeah, they match it automatically. Okay. That's from the federal grant and Morgan's bonus. What about, I know you got three SROs. What about them? The school pitching? Yes, they have to. They're, they're based on our salary. So they on. would just automatically have to, or do we have to? Yeah, no, they would automatically have to. Because in the contract, it says that they're to pay 50% of them. Their right. salary. Okay. So when I think right now, I, I don't want to speak out of terms, but I think the measures are actually negotiating with the schools and the and stuff. So uh, here's what we could possibly be of this. I'm going to have to possibly get rid of the two positions I got because I can't fill them and I can't take money if I ain't got no way to uh, What we'll have to do next is, is look at closing the doors at midnight because I can't fill the shifts. If you can't fill the shifts, you don't have nobody working. You can't, can't be open. And lo and behold, Lord God, the sun don't fall, but it would even come to the point of taking our school resource officers out of the school because we have an obligation to cover the road. That's the number one obligation we have to cover the road. So this deals, like I said, this is a decision that's being made is just more than me just coming over and asking for money and asking for the decision to be made. Will you have money for next year or next year? Will that be the budget? Yeah, this will be the budget we will be discussing. So what, so we're, what, so what, we're, what we're looking at right now is what we would have to do a salary resolution today and then we would have to advertise. Salary ordinance. Salary ordinance, ordinance I'm sorry. Salary ordinance and then we would have to advertise because he's taking money out of line items that are not. Well, these are, these are the same budget line. This is just a request for transfer to all that. It's not that salary ordinance. Have to, have What's that? Yeah. 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 Salary salary yeah. Um, but once we do that salary ordinance come 2024, that's what we're paying on. Right. And so. that's what we would be doing at the budget time to read, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You'd be looking at it. Because I'm just going to tell you this right now. Safety with mm -hmm. tax. You also know, you know what I'm saying, board. budget time. If I don't get this, then if I have to come back, I mean, I. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to be honest with you. We're here at my inside. And by no stretch of the imagination, don't take this the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not being a hater. This is not, nothing to do with hating. But if Jennifer loses a, you know what I'm saying, one of her folks that's very valuable to her, she's very valuable to her, you know what I'm saying? She can advertise and have somebody next week. If I lose somebody, 
You know how much it costs the county for me to replace a deputy every time I have to replace one that's left? A hundred thousand dollars a year is what the average cost is to replace those folks. That's through their butt, that's through their salary, that's through everything. So if I lose two people that says that they're probably gonna leave unless they get some type of pay raise, then that's gonna cost the county two hundred thousand dollars just to replace those two. How many full time do you have right now? We have uh, 16, and that'd be 14 if you take off the two grant positions with uh, myself, uh, the uh, matron, and the chief deputy, it'd be 19. But deputy wise, you know what I'm saying? It's on the salary, 16. Yeah, we're averaging it on 16 people. And all these figures that we have, that's a current pay. Yeah, he's going to be. So that's a salary that's going to be there that we figured in. That, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a bonus salary to us at the end of the You would have to look at a. We build in some safety breakers, some circuit breakers in case something happens that, to cover that. Again, I, I am no expert on the budget whatsoever, but. Whenever I come in budget, I just don't come over and just ask for stuff. Nearly will, as you very well know. This, I don't, unless it's an emergency. And I'm doing this is an emergency situation. I don't know what else. I'm not trying to scream, cry wolf. I'm not trying to say the sky is falling. I'm not trying to say anything like that. Sure. Uh, yes, ma'am. Can I ask a question? Yes, ma'am. Just out of curiosity, when you, um, and sort of from my legal brain going crazy, when you hire a new deputy, do you send them to an academy? Do you train them? Okay. Do you have something that when you employ them that if they leave within let's say two years, then they would pay back the county for all of that? It's, it's against the uh, regulations law. State police tried that. They got sued and lost it, so we can't make them. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I wish we could say she We do that on utility, so I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm not we're sure. We're all that money training them. And that's yeah. the thing about it, we can't be a training ground, because all we're doing is training these folks for another agency just to come in and say, hey, we'll give you $15,000 yeah. more this year. And like I said, that's just the starting salaries that I told you. I mean, I thought, like I told you about Jack and Sean State, we've got a guy that's got 16 years on, it's going to be leaving probably yeah, unless we get paid for the part of He's going to the same amount of time. He's making 53000 with us. He's going to be jumping up to seven, we need to seven five million to dollars in our account. Just like Senator Reese in the day. So I'm, I'm here, I'm actually begging, that's what I'm doing. I, I'm not good to say I'm begging. I want you to understand one thing too. Just, this don't affect my pay one percent whatsoever. I'm not here advocating for these. You said you lose your grants on you two. Explain that to me. I don't understand that. I'm sorry. Yeah, what happens is, is we have one grant to Morgan Foods and uh, one grant to the federal government. So the grant we have to the federal government is a sex crimes grant where we have a detective, Jack and and all she does is sex crimes, child molesting, and training for being very successful at it. They pay for it. Okay. So if we don't have that position, then we lose that position. We, they don't give us the money. Okay. And Morgan Foods has got a stock or a, I'll say a clause in there is that the county has to match what they do. So if we lose the position, okay. see what I'm saying? Gotcha. Okay. We're, we're going to lose people. So we're going to lose two officers anyway. If we don't do something. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, no, it makes sense because, yeah, they, they'll be completely gone. You're going to get the 2024? So, and this is something else, too, just want to mention, and I've mentioned before. Perfect. We're not doing this, uh, right? No, the state police are non existent now because they can't hire nobody. That's the reason why they raise their pay, you know, to an outdoor. So, last year alone, we went to the interstate over 400 times. But I mean, I guess technically. Four times we went, had to go to the interstate. Plus, Austin had to go to the interstate. Scottsburg has to go to the interstate because you have to go when you get involved. Before, we never done that. Before, if, if we went out there, you know, JRT, if we went out there 100 times, that was a lot for the year. Um, now we're going out to our regular basis. You can stay in the way as far as state police used to take care of all the time. You know, if I work for rent or something, it's always. Oh, because this is going to be, you're going to have to do an increase of the public safety tax board in general. And I say that about if you don't want to serve your right <laughs> So I can say the hell it's like Eric could have stayed out a million dollars in that. So six because of the share. So, I'm, I'm just not hitting for your help. So I'm just going to say something. So that's where we're going to issue those. Yes, this year. Then you already got all for it. This year, I don't want that. All the money that you need to fund this. Yes, absolutely. But it's going to be a half of an appropriation for next year. The problem we're going to have to look at is. I'm just throwing this out here. We're getting right going to the budget workshop. And it's next month. And that would be something if we. For next year. Yes. I mean, I'm just throwing that out. I'm not saying you're there or whatever. Absolutely. 
What do you, here, here's my take on my, this. My, 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 suge my suggestion, because this is a lot for us to take in. Um, I understand that it's that it's an emer that it's a necessity and that it's, it's it puts you in a bad sense. But this state this is a lot to take in, especially knowing that if we do this, yes, you have it covered for 2023, but 2024, and the projection that we have from Baker Tilly is not good, especially yeah. in in your budget. Mm -hmm. I mean, in all of budgets, but oh, we're, I, I, we're talking about you specifically. Said, what would you do so, is so what what I would suggest is let's table this until we can get our heads wrapped around this because this is a lot of money coming at us because, yes, I know that you have it for this year, but we have to consider the ramifications of mm -hmm. next year. I get that. And that's, that's, that's why, why to I give it we have to take it away. I mean, exactly. you just have to give it and then have to take it away. Well, right. Here's the thing that so, is that point. So my, my suggestion would be um, to table it. We have budget yeah. sessions coming up. Let's let's look at this this along with with the budget and make sure that we can sustain this because if we can't sustain it if we do this for you and we can't sustain it through 2024 okay i understand that but here's what my dilemma is going to be is, is this and i understand what you mean i get that totally i do get mm -hmm. that okay but that's what the budget meetings are for i've got the money for this year and for me to do that is no different than a guy's arms bleeding to death. He's got 20 minutes to live to say, I'll be back in an hour with a splint, or I'll be back in an hour with, that's not gonna, because I'm telling you right now, the monies that we will lose by not implementing this is gonna be more, unless you just decide not to have a sheriff's department anymore. Well, I mean, that's, you know. I don't think he's sheriff, back. We're, we're not saying we're not considering it. No, I'm we're, we're saying we have a, we have an obligation to make sure that we can sustain what we put in place for you mm -hmm. and for those deputies for going through 2024, 2025, 2026, mm -hmm. long long after you know mm -hmm. your term is up. Us taking all this information and saying yes, you can pay for it for 2023, but hey guys, got to figure it out for 2024. Mm -hmm. We have you know lit that we have to look at. We have circuit breakers that we have to look at. It, so was, it wouldn't be fiz it wouldn't be responsible of us to not just take a second and and look at the whole big picture. Well, you it yourself said it's one of the biggest decisions we'll make. And yes, it is. And so it's not. It's, I can't. I don't want to make that in thirty minutes. I here's, here's, the county here's, 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 here's what I asked him, and I, and I get that. Okay, but I ask that you have a special meeting within, you know, what I'm saying two to three days to be able to resolve this. Because again, no, if I'm going with the splint, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> if I have to go in and and, and try to fix this. Then, you know, I I don't know. I mean, I talk about the budget here. Okay, so I wait till the budget, and then the first of years. Now I'm seven people down. You know, and then I, I don't. We're not saying wait until the budget to implement the raises. We're saying let's let's get in. Let's be able to look at going forward and look at what you're asking for for the rest of this year. That's what we're asking. We're not saying. We're not talking about 2023, and we're just going to look at the budget for 2024. What we're saying is let us look at 2024 budget and what you're proposing to make sure that we can we can sustain what we're putting in place for you for 2023. I, I, I so, so, so you're saying a month, a month? A month is not good. Well, what if we schedule a workshop and we all sit down and we talk about it and we dive into his budget and, and, and we'll and, talk and, about and, it. And we, but and I we can't wait two or three months to do that. That's the problem. That's what I'm trying to tell you. This is a, and this next, next year, next if we have to budget. cut a deputy, next, next if we have to cut budgets. a deputy, we could cut a deputy. We're not talking about two or three months. Next month is budget, and he just suggested doing a, a workshop. I know how that works. I know how it works, and you do too. You do too, because when you don't, you gotta give us something. You can't you've expect got... us to make this decision. And All right, I, 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 I just gave you everything that you needed. I, I have guess. a motion on the table. I have a motion on the table to table this request by Sheriff Gooden. Um, do I have a second? Yes. Second. You. Jr. Oh. Any questions or concerns? We're tabling it. To when? Until we can get together and possibly do a, a what'd you say, a workshop? I, and I'm final scheduling that tonight if somebody wants but to. But we need to table this first. Well, I agree. So, all in favor of tabling until we can do a workshop. All in favor? 7 0. And we set that workshop. Yes. Tonight. Yes. Right yep. Now. yep. So that we Throw out a date. So, yep. so Sheriff Gooden and knows. Diane, your schedule is worse. They're out of date. Diane, what's your schedule? schedule? Uh, on the workshop, does that go to the advertiser or does that? No, not it's, pu it's a public meeting, so yes, so it has yeah, to be just on the door 48 hours prior. Yeah. 
So now the workshop can't be for 48 hours, correct? Yes. Correct. So, and then I, I know what's if you decide to take action, action, then it would have I'm to be a meeting with an ordinance and a... Well, that's fine. So what, Diane, you're scheduled for My people are tired at this point, too. I'm very, very tough decisions will have to be made. Well, what are you looking so. at? Work, for the workshop. Yeah, I have to work around you guys. So okay. you just tell me what you're planning, and then I'll try to do my best work around you guys, okay? I'm off on Fridays. I can do it any time. We can do Friday. We can do Friday. I can't do it this Friday. Can't do All right. this next Friday, the 18th. We'll next Friday. That'll give us plenty of time to advertise it, and yeah, advertise we can meet here, kind of get an idea what we're figure doing. this out. Then we can to get back to him as quick as we can. Mm -hmm. Look into the list and see it's where we're at. It's a public meeting. So you might need to. You might want to have Baker Tilly there to yeah. talk about because I don't think the problem is. I don't think the problem is the money for this year. It's, it's going forward. Do you, what happened? You want us to do. You want us to do to do to go ahead and do an ordinance and then publish it and, and do all that stuff and get it together and then uh, January 1st, sorry guys, we well, can't, your, your the parade is gone. Here's the reason why I say so that. So that's why yes. they want a workshop. So well, what, here's the reason why I say this. The... Yes, I would because I'm trying to answer a question. There wasn't a question, I... sure. We're trying to schedule the workshop I, I, so we can I, I, move forward this. So we can I'm move just saying, forward. we don't want to, I, I don't think they want to take it away. Go ahead. You see what I'm saying? Yes. I understand what you're saying. I have to keep the people that I have. Next year, if we can't do that, then what I'm gonna have to say is, okay, we have to lay people off. I can't because- Well, you're gonna have to do that next year too. We're gonna so. do it now. We're gonna do it now. I would have Baker Tilly, people. honestly, at the workshop because we need to That's extrapolate how much we would need to increase the public What time tax on, on the 18th? I'm off. To continue it. What time on the 18th works for you guys, Diane? We, and it's a, and we can, we can, because we can dial you in, so you're- Oh, we can do Zoom. We can do it during the day or whenever. I'm open all day. Well, well you might want to get a paper tilly we'll too. We'll figure it out. What works for you? What works for you? What's your schedule on day? On the 18th? I'm good. You don't need me. What do you need me for? I don't know. Let's do three o'clock. Does three o'clock work? Yeah, we can do it sooner than this. Next Tuesday. I'll make it work. It's a week from today. He has to work. Oh. Yeah. He's off on Friday. Yeah. So that's why we're. Yeah. And we can do it while he's in the evening. Yeah, we can do it later. What well, if we can do it this Friday if he's going to be on Zoom? Can you, can, you go on, can you go on your phone and be on the phone with us? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Let, let me say one thing if I can. Can I? Mm -hmm. Here, here's the position. Here's where we're at. It's like, and I go back to what Eric said. If we're going to have to pay people more and we have to do it with less, that's what I'm telling you right now. If I fund this now, if I have to cut people at the first year, I have to cut them. I have to try to keep the trained personnel people that we have. That's what I'm trying to tell so you. So can, you know, can we people, not, to cut can people. we not, and, and maybe this is totally, can we not go ahead, and this is just a question, okay, go with what the sheriff wants to do till the end of the year with the stipulation that we are going to be working and trying to figure out what we're going to do for 2024. But if we can't afford the, the, that raise in 2024, then what are we going to need to do? Lay people off. I'm just saying. Lay people, lay people, lay people off. I'll have to because Sheriff, I can't fill them anyway. Sheriff, we are, the we, are doing, doing, we are doing... We go ahead and... and I'm sorry. I'm just trying to... We. I don't like to think they understand no, the gravity of what's going on. No, what I mean, we do understand, understand the gravity, gravity sure. That's what I'm saying. Right. Go ahead and do what you're We're asking until the end of the year with the stipulation that if we cannot sustain this for 2020. And if we decide that at the workshop, mm -hmm. then that's what we'll do. We're setting a workshop. So days? let's do the workshop for the 18th. Um, do you see what I mean? Let's do, I believe it's 14, let's do 4 o'clock. I, I don't do the Let's do 4 o'clock on the 18th I'm for the workshop. I'm not here. I'm just trying to get back to the facts. That's all I'm trying to do. The 18th at 4 o'clock. I think it's 14 yeah, days, it's, it's on, but I don't see anywhere where Indiana you can't ask it. It's a it's a it's a public meeting, so yeah, you got you. you guys can can be here, but and Sheriff, just to answer questions we are you. we are not saying that we're not going to do this. Mm -hmm. I hope that we can. I want to do this, but we have to make sure that the parameters that we set now, mm -hmm. because do you want to lay people off? Here's why do, I'm telling you, do you that, yes, want, do I will, you, do if not, I get to keep the you. people that I've got. Do you want to lay people off? Do you want to lay like people I off? Like I said, I, okay. that's, right. that's an open-ended question, Lindy. Obviously, that's like You're saying, not you quit, us, are you quitting the beating Kenny now? Sure. Are you beating Kenny anymore? Hey, sure. That's sure, the same that's open-ended enough. question. No, absolutely. We're it's done. It's the same thing. We're it's done, Sheriff. You're excused. We're done. Here, I'm going to say this. I'm not. We're done. 
That's Except fine. for the Friday at the 18th, on the 18th, the 4 o'clock is a, a workshop. So the 18th, so the, the, 18th, the 4 o'clock. Two it's weeks two away. weeks. Uh, it's two weeks. It's next Friday. Publication of salary ordinance is 14 days. So, so it's going to be at least it's 30. Okay. So 4 o'clock. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion. No, we have to um, do the minutes. Oh, we have to no. do the minutes. Sorry. Consideration of minutes. Have you guys seen the, the minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I, I something else. The ramifications of it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm willing to let people off my ass here. Yeah. All right. I have. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes for 7 13 23? Diane, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion. Second. All in favor? Meeting adjourned. I was fine until he said, are you, are you done being in the Absolutely not. Does not need to be mentioned. I have never seen such. 100% so. did not need to be mentioned. Are we off? No, we're not. It does not need to be my favorite. Why would you go?